Hi, John from uh, J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I just wanted to talk about some of my favorite Victorinox models, um, Swiss Army Knife models, and uh, so I've got a few of them laid out here for you. These are ones I carry from time to time, and I just wanted to talk about these just a little bit, and so uh, a lot of these you've probably heard of, um, and uh, one was actually in a video recently, and that's this um, Victorinox Cadet. Uh, without the key ring um, because I removed it but uh, again the made blade made blade um, and um, can opener and bottle opener with the flathead screwdriver small flathead over here and of course the tool I really like here if I can get it open is the nail file on this other end and so I carry this quite often. It's really thin and light, and uh, it's one of my favorites. And of course, very popular, uh, the SD Classic, Victor Knox SD Classic. It's got the um, small main blade. It's got the um, screwdriver in the file, and those really, really great scissors over here on this other end. And uh, see if I can get those open. There we go. And I've got a little clip here to put them on my keychain. It's got the, uh, of course, the tweezers and the toothpick as well. And then the one right next to it, which is also a 58 millimeter, is a Rogue, a Victorinox Rogue. And it's very similar to the Rambler. Um, but it has this flathead, small flathead with a wire stripper and bottle opener. And then also the main blade, but uh, this one was damaged and I had to reprofile the blade just a little bit. The tip was broke off. Um, I actually got this at a flea market for a buck, um, believe it or not. And it's got a file with the point on the end. You can actually use that as a Phillips screwdriver and then it's also got uh, the scissors which work really well 58 millimeter scissors the scales were in pretty rough shape I cleaned this up as best I could um, it had a logo on one side then I removed it and cleaned it real good um, and it's still got the toothpick and the tweezers with this one so I carry that quite a bit I really like it uh, it's a two layer um, 58 millimeter and then right next to that is the Victorinox Bantam. It has got the main blade and the combo tool. These are giving me troubles here tonight, but the combo tool and the toothpick and the tweezers. And this is uh, a um, uh, 84 millimeter uh, Victorinox and fairly thin and very light. Um, so I love to I love to carry that. It's the same size as the Cadet. Then one of my favorites, uh, probably my absolute favorite, is the uh, Victorinox Compact. It's a uh, 91 millimeter, or actually 92 millimeter, I think is what it is. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, but it's got the main blade and um, the combo tool. And uh, the scissors, the full size Victorinox scissors. It also has the plus scales, which means it has the pen, the ink pen, as well as the toothpick and the tweezers. And then it has, of course, the corkscrew, but it has the small eyeglass screwdriver here. Um, screwed into the uh, to the corkscrew and then the small pin that goes here the little pin and that comes in real handy so this is an excellent Victorinox option and then the last one is the Tinker and uh, this is just your normal Tinker and it's got the main blade of course a can opener with a small screwdriver um, the bottle opener with the uh, flathead, large flathead, and the wire stripper. 
of course, and the uh, small blade over on the other side. And then the back tools are the uh, actually the Phillips, regular size Phillips, uh, and the awl. And then the Phillips. Uh, inside here there's also, also a pin, um, just like you would find in the compact. So I do, I like to carry that one quite a bit too. And so that's, um, this is a, a little bit of my collection and some of my favorite uh, Victorinox models. And uh, again, it's the SD Classic, Victorinox Rogue, the Bantam, the Cadet, the Compact, and the Tinker. Thanks for watching.